so you know we had covid come along yeah and we've had foreclosures you know want to stay or put on a pause um what are you seeing over the next say year or two what do you think what do you think real estate investors should be focusing on to to really be aware of you know the the times that we're in and and you know what strategy should they be employing given what's going on yeah that is such a good question jay people i don't think the general public recognizes that when the bank keeps postponing and postponing the mortgage it doesn't mean that the bank is going to automatically i mean you gotta remember this is last march until now we're 15 months and the people not having had to have made mortgage payments and i don't believe the bank is just going to stick all the payments on the back and say okay make your payment in july so what's going to happen is the bank is going to want all the payments now and people aren't going to have them and so it's going to cause I, I keep telling people it's going to cause like a tsunami of foreclosures because the, the bank has everybody in a forbearance agreement. Now I know that you know what a forbearance agreement is, but for the listeners that don't, when you're in a forbearance agreement, that means that if you, what happens is the bank takes all the back payments and they divide them up over maybe 12 or 18 months and they add them on top of the mortgage payment. So you're going to have all these people that have a mortgage payment that was 2000 and now it's, 750 bucks because they divided the payments over 18 months and now it's went to 2700 and people aren't going to be able to make their payments 